My understanding is that the Board of Trustees is anxious to move on from the Sandusky scandal. Joe Paterno's dying wish was for the truth to be known. Something in this story stinks to high heaven, and I believe Penn State will not be able to move on until the truth is known. The free report has been widely discredited as being incomplete and based on speculation. The board has been unwilling to reveal the source material that underlies the free report. I believe the excuse of protecting confidentiality is a smokescreen. I am wondering if the lack of action yep. says the board has something to hide. Penn State will not be able to make, uh, will not be able to be made whole unless and until an objective review of the free report is done. I am very interested in knowing the real reasons that the board fired Joe Paterno and Graham Spanier. I am also interested in knowing why the board decided to hire Louis Free, what his marching orders were, and why the felt why the board felt there was no need to review his conclusions. There has been a lot of misinformation passed off as fact in this story. Based on this misinformation, false narratives have been created and many people have reached incorrect conclusions. These opinions have become entrenched and are very difficult to change in spite of overwhelming evidence to the contrary. I urge anyone who is interested in the truth in this matter to carefully read both the Spanier complaint as well as the Sandusky petition for post-conviction relief. In my opinion, both of these documents contain an order of magnitude more detailed and complete picture of what happened than the free report. I again ask the board to conduct an objective review of the free report to conduct an investigation into how this crisis was mismanaged and who the responsible parties were, and to take the necessary steps to reverse the damage inflicted on the parties that have been harmed as a result of the board's actions. Unfortunately, I don't believe the board has any interest in doing these things. The board is in danger of being on the wrong side of history. The truth will eventually be known, and when it is, I believe the board will be taken to task for their failure to protect the interests of this great institution. Thank you.